Hey everyone and welcome to this tutorial on the ultrasonic sensor. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to use the HC SR04. It's a four pin ultrasonic sensor uh, which is pretty standard. If you go looking for a, a ultrasonic sensor for an Arduino or something this is pretty much what you're going to end up with. Um, it has four main pins. You've got the voltage coming in here. Uh, voltage is three to five volts generally. Five volts uh, is the recommended. And of course you've got ground. Um, ultrasonic sensors, the way they work is they send out a signal from one of these transducers. These are called ultrasonic transducers. Um, and what they do is they send out an ultrasonic signal and then they measure the distance, uh, the time for that signal to go out, hit something, and then come back and be received by the other transducer. And then measuring that time and based on the density of air, you can figure out how far away that object is. That's why these are called range finders generally. And what the trigger is, the trigger pin, this is generally connected to a digital pin on the Arduino, which sends a signal, a digital signal that says, okay, send a pulse. The, tra the transmitter, T, sends a pulse out, and then the receiver receives the pulse and sends that signal back to a digital pin on the Arduino again and then you measure the time between those send and receive. So let, let's just do a quick little visual here of this to bring up some points. Um, imagine we're trying to find the distance to this blue block right here. So what's going to happen is you're going to send a signal to the trigger pin on the ultrasonic sensor and that, what that is going to do is it's going to cause the transmitter to send out a little wave that flies here and hits this block. Then once it hits that block it's going to come back just like this until the receiver gets a hold of it. And then when that happens you can measure the time that it traveled through the air. And the way that works is if you know the density of air you can know how long uh, what the speed of sound is through air and it's generally 776 uh, miles per hour is the speed of sound through air so that if you know that it's traveling at that speed and it goes to here and it comes back here and you measure these times so then based on the time that you send out the signal and the time it comes back and using this number you can figure out um, the distance between these two things which is really quite useful the trouble is is if you let me get another part of the sheet is if your object is either at a weird angle or a uh, weird material that absorbs it like a sponge then you've got this little signal that comes out here and then when it hits it instead of reflecting directly back into it it reflects off to a side and then the ultrasonic sensor might not detect it and that can be an issue um, so these are really kind of limited in what they can do you gotta make sure they're always kinda of going up against flat surfaces and reflective surfaces like I said uh, sponges, rugs, sometimes your hand they don't always detect it very well and measure a very good distance because the, the sound waves get scattered. Um, but other than that, they're pretty handy tools and they're quick and easy to use. Um, that's the general outline of it. So yeah, you send, use a digital signal from the Arduino to send a signal out the trigger pin and then you receive the signal from the echo pin which and using that time and the speed of sound in the air where you're using this, um, you can determine uh, the distance to some object based on the reflected sound wave. And here's a pretty good demo of how to use it. Uh, we used it with a little arm to create a simple controller. Hope that helps.